boys. We're in. Is this appearing on str Oh, it is! You're not ready for this. So, I recently... Um, okay, it's a long story. So, my friend, I wanted to... I wanted them to be able to play, uh, this game right here. This is why I'm streaming Little King's Story in the first place. So, what's happening? We're doing a Vita Showcase. <laughs> So I wanted to play this game, um, it's in Japanese because that's the only way you can buy it right now. It's the only version of the cartridge you can buy. Like, you can see in the corner, got the little cartridge symbol with the Oni face on it, and I can literally, like... Oh, it's out of there. Put the cartridge in, and it loads. Great system. Um, so I homebrewed my Vita, because I had one, I was like, you know what, I just, I, just, I can do this. And I decided to, uh, dump the game so it could play it in the Vita emulator. Turns out the Vita emulator is shit, and, um, the way I was doing it before, I was using a quote-unquote bad dump. I was not using a bad dump, I just didn't format it correctly. So, for, like, months, I was trying to get my hands on my own copy of it, and then I, I dumped it to get it on the, on the thing, on the computer, to emulate it. Emulator doesn't work. Then, like, by happenstance, I saw that you can do Vita screen recording through Homebrew. Just through the USB port. And I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, that's fantastic. So I've done that, and... Here we are. So I just decided, you know what, instead of streaming New Little King Story... I'll just, like, do a showcase of the whole Vita. Or just, like, what's on my Vita. And I was like, wait a minute, I just kind of like the system. And so, I think I only recently bought these two games. So, let's start with the games that I've recently bought. Because why not? Or, you know what, let's start with, like, the most famous one. Gravity Rush. It's been forever since I've played this. So, this is my real Vita. Everything is happening in real time. No capture card required. It's fantastic. It, it, is, it is real good. It is real clean. So, Gravity Rush is, um, I think a game, I think a pack-in game with the Vita, at least when I got it. I do not remember buying this game. So, you can see Gravity Rush. Uh, I was just gonna hit new game. Fuck it. I don't remember my old save. Oh, that's why I had noise suppression turned on. There's a slight buzzing. Okay, let's turn that down. Wow, that is a crusty frame rate. Now, because it is technically the Vita doing the recording, um. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's gyro. Gyro camera. Because it is the Vita technically doing the recording, I was worried about, um, frame rate issues. Smack the apple. Smack in the apple. Um. But the way I'm recording it doesn't actually, uh, hit the frame rate at all. Like, and I had tried to stress this thing out. Little King Story, Gravity Rush, so much worse than 160p. <laughs> Why are you watching Twitch in 160p? Oh, crap, Wi-Fi? Alright, no problem. <laughs> I was gonna say. Hey, it's fine. The Vita has a shit resolution, too. Oh! Look at, let's look at these emotions that the game is trying to do. Do you feel emotional yet? Okay, Jesus. 50 kilobits per second? Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't know where you are in the world that 50 kilobits per second is what you've got for internet, but... I just feel bad. I would give you my internet if I could. Oh, 
Alaska. That explains it. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, the stream, like... Ooh. Like, the stream by default is, like, literally... 5,000 megabits per second. Megabits. 50 kilobits per second is half a megabit per second. Oh. Oh, I would cry. 50 kilobits per second on mobile is the best Wi-Fi package. We need to fight for Alaska's Wi-Fi rights. Gravity Rush is trademark of Sony Computer Entertainment. Going up to 100 to 125. Oh. <coughs> Meow. The paw icon appears whenever touch controls are possible. Hmm. Where am I? The only company problem is big companies like T-Mobile, AT&T, and etc. don't do Wi-Fi up here. I know. Like, it is probably bad in, um, it's, it's worse for sure in Alaska, but Canada, in particular, where I'm at, is known for the worst internet. Um, for the longest time, we were paying, like, my household was paying for 50 megabits. Um, we were getting 37, because they were just like, well, you, we can't charge you for 37, we can charge you for 50 or 25, go fuck yourself. And I'm like, cool. And it's stupid expensive. It's like $500 a month <laughs> for fucking shit, <laughs> like, less, less than 50 megabits per second. Small company called GCI. Worse speeds than roaming. Jesus. Anyway, here's a pervert. It's gonna gloss right over the pervert. You essentially have dial-up without the screeching. I love that. That's fantastic. Wait, you don't understand. You've got to save my boy. Your boy? I don't remember this. Wait, I kind of remember this. How do we get the boy? Oh god, the... the not Japanese. Your cat kind of reminds me of that crow. Oh, I remember the crow. Raven? Is that the character's name? I don't know. Oh, now the police come to help. Oh, we do love the police here. Absolutely. The police are the, the best. $25 per month Wi-Fi packages with better speed? I know. I wish I wish Wi-Fi costed $25 per month. Any at, at all. Like at all. You're not from there? Are you like chilling like on I don't know, like a bit like a trip or something? Are you going back to wherever you're from or are you staying in Alaska? What's going on? Hurry! You saw him, my boy's trapped up there, but what am I supposed to do? You're like that crow girl, right? Use your cat to get up there and save him. Crow girl? What crow girl? Drop the act. I saw you plunge from the sky and land without a scratch. Use that superpower of yours to get my boy. Superpower? Like, I hope you're not living in Alaska and you're, like, going home soon. 
I don't know. I've never, I've never even seen much of what's in Alaska. I wouldn't know if there's anything there. Yes, I know. Currently lived here, moved here to be with your partner. Oh, that's nice. Standing on a wall. Oh yeah, it's like platforming. Oh god, I'm not looking at the screen. What am I looking at? Oh Jesus Christ. Hoping to move back down within the month. I'm sure Alaska is nice and all, but there are like just some amenities that you can't amend amend amenities. You just can't live without. What is it? Is that the word? Hang on. Googling words. Amenities. Oh, yeah. July, January is plenty long to be, to be up here. You're a desert animal meant for snow. You're a desert animal not meant for snow. Mm -hmm. I'm used to the snow. West Canadians. Listen. I semi-feel the pain. Not 50 kilobits per second pain. 50 fucking kilobits. Jesus Christ. Like, not, I, I don't know- I don't know if you, like, know exactly how much 50 kilobits per second is. It's n nothing. It's actually, like, dial-up. It's, like, decades old. You miss Callie? Oh, yeah. I know a lot of- or I knew a lot of people from Cali. A decent number of people from Cali. I feel like I would never want to go to California. Like, I hate the heat. But, like... I don't know. Cali's probably got a lot to do. But at the same time... I feel like I would... Uh... Parch to death. Can I move? Yes. I remember how to play. It's a tourist trap? Yeah. Because I know that parts of Cali are also like a total shithole. Full of, like gang violence and stuff. And like just trash. Like New York kind of bad. There's not much to do unless you like amusement parks and bars. Uh, good thing I don't. <laughs> Oh, the police have got him. Oh. Oh, cool. Eldritch Abomination. Oh. I like my Eldritch Abominations. Bloodmore's my favorite game. How did you know? Oh, God. There he goes. Okay. Only, they're only cool if you like weed. Well, haha. Uh, we got weed in Canada, so I don't, I don't need to go there. We, weed is nice and legal up where I live, so I'm very happy. I don't need no weed in... Uh, I don't need no Cali weed. I mean, it's kind of legal. Like, we, we have it up here. Sort of. The different provinces, which are just states. Um like, have different, what's the word, uh, policies for how weed is legal. Yeah. Yeah, recreational weed. Like, all recre- like, weed is legally recreational. Or legal recreationally. But, it's like different. So, where I live in Ontario, we have this thing called the LCBO, which is liquor. Um, it was, so we have two liquor stores. We have the LCBO and the beer store, and they're both owned by the government. And they suck. They're really bad. And they're really expensive. And there's literally zero competition because it's, it's illegal to do competition for booze. It's the same like that with weed. So, 
it's the same like that, but like also worse with weed because all of the weed sucks too. It's not like we get like decent weed brands or anything. Like it's just like bad weed that we get from the government. So everybody buys it from Vancouver. <laughs> everybody buys it from British Columbia and has it shipped here, which is still technically illegal, but you know. Oh, they think I destroyed their house by trying to save their house. Oh, cool. Oh, I remember. In this game, everybody hates you. Oh, I'm remembering it now. What a, what a good game. I, I didn't do anything wrong. Hey. Hmm, shifters, they're all rotten. You said it, Pops. Cool racism. What was I supposed to do? I was only trying to help. Hmm. What is it? You see something? Recreational means you can smoke wherever smoking is legal. Medicinal states are where you need a med card to have it on your person or get arrested for possession. There are even states where 100% legal for possession. Yeah. The situation in the states is not good when it comes to weed. I mean, if on your trip back from Alaska, you could just like stop halfway and like stay in Canada. Okay. I need a minute. I am currently fixing the sound. I'm sick of it coming out of my left ear and only my left ear. Oh, haha, -ha, what are you... A Okay, there we go. You don't have a passport, so you can't stop in Canada? That's fine. Just like... Like, just like when you're in and around the Saskatchewan area, just know there is zero border in Saskatchewan. Like, there's a sign that says you're in Canada now, and you can just, like, walk past. There's no border guards. <laughs> just letting you know. Guess we're both alone, so we better stick together. I'm bad I should give you a name. Dusty. Dusty the cat. I'm, like, so this is, like, from years ago from a friend in high school who was from Saskatchewan. He's a brown redneck from Saskatchewan. <laughs> Named Ranger Ram. <laughs> but he's told me that there is no border at Saskatchewan. Is there no border at Saskatchewan? Some border cities and places have the border thing at the city outskirts. Uh, well, yeah. It's in some places, but... The thing about Saskatchewan is there's nothing there. Like, nothing... I am very tired as well. Like this is this is the entirety of Saskatchewan right here. Let me let me just Like this is it for hundreds of miles. It looks nice in the picture, but that's it. It's all flat nothing land. Like here's a literal another picture of a completely different part of Saskatchewan. Nothing. Literally nothing. Here's another p picture from another different part of Saskatchewan. Can see for fucking miles, lad. Fucking miles. And uh, b between that and the American border, there's also nothing. No fence. No, uh, signs. How is this... How big is this land of nothing? Yeah. Canada map. It's 
see. So, you see the orange one. That's that's how much nothing there is in Canada. The the entirety of the orange one. <laughs> like there's stuff around Regina, but uh that's it. Yeah, and then you see the states down there. It's just like wasted earth. There's nothing. Nothing exists there. I feel like my mic is louder than it should be. No, it's not. It is perfect. Okay. Never mind. There is the raven. Was that a crow? Hey, Dusty, wait! Dusty really wants that bird. Really trying to eat it. Look, I'm ahead of Dusty. <laughs> you want me to follow that crow? All right, let's go get it. I'm trying to use my gravity. Yes, I know. I can use it. Hopefully, it's runnable on your laptop. It's a hard maybe. It is a Wii game, but it's also poorly optimized. Like, I'm pretty sure the 60 FPS mode in Little King Story for PC does just, just, just doesn't work. Like, straight up. Do not work. I have... Well, I have a streaming PC. <laughs> so, in theory, it should run like a dream. I should be able to get, like, 240 FPS in Little King Story. Because it's a fucking Wii game. But I don't even get a consistent 60. I don't even get a consistent 30. Oh yeah, what the fuck am I wearing? It's just like a leotard with like... Fucking... With a cape? The cape, and I have what was that around my legs? It's, I just have like. Hang on, what the fuck? No. Ugh. God damn it! All right, it's fine. Oh yeah, they give you gyro controls. Look at that! Isn't that disorienting and fun? It's actually much easier to see <laughs> on the big screen. Thinking about downloading Stardew Valley after the King story. I tried getting into Stardew. Uh, I, I didn't like it. I don't know. I didn't much like Animal Crossing either, so maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm just not a life sim guy. The apartment office closes. Shadows over the city. You came just in time. I was chasing one of those thugs and got surrounded, but who are you? I've been playing Animal Crossing since the Wii version. New Horizons was my first Animal Crossing. I tried getting into the GameCube one uh, before I played New Horizons, and I got so confused and angry at it. I was like, wait, what do I do? And I was like, oh, nothing? Oh, okay. It makes me feel like I've accomplished things. I haven't accomplished anything in New Horizons. Like, literally. I have done barely anything. And now, uh, I'm 30 hours in and I don't even have the KK Slider thing done. Well, I guess I'm like 50 hours in by now, but still. Okay, I don't care. Oh, look at that motion blur.
Oh, combat. Okay. You can try walkthroughs to get shit. Typically play quest-based games. And... Wait, you can try walkthroughs to get shit if you typically play quest-based games. Oh, oh, yeah, no, I know what you're talking about. Like... Yeah, I've played, um... Like, I spent the last... Two months playing Xenoblade, and I just didn't... Xenoblade 2. And Xenoblade 1. And Xenoblade X. <laughs> it might be my new favorite series, and it's all because I used walkthroughs. And I, I didn't care. Yes, I know how to do this. Fuck, this was like the entire gameplay loop. And it got really boring. Partly usually does quest-based games for Animal Crossing and Stardew. I give them a, I give uh, them a walkthrough, where he gets so lost because he has no idea where to go. BRB, okay. Hope your internet gets f fixed or something. I don't know. I'm talking about an office, so I assume you're at an office. First the storm, now those monsters. What's going on around here? Officer Sid, where are you, man? You need to get out of here. Huh? Why? Listen, the powers that be don't care for you, shifters. You make them feel, well... You f make them feel less, well, powerful. An unknown with superpowers who just happens to show up the same time as the monsters? You don't want anyone making the logical connection. But connection. Look, just leave the explanations to me. I'll take care of everything. You say so? Good, now get going. We'll meet again, shifter. Yo, Sid, where are you at? Or, where are you? <laughs> Why did I say where are you at? It was the day the monsters came and attacked the city. I didn't know yet, but the strange off police officer Sid was going to play a big part in the events to come. I never would have guessed that part I would play myself. I can't read. Nevi. Single handedly take down Nevi. <laughs> sure. Good job, Sid. No, oh, this. Oh yeah, this game starts out with a fucking fetch quest. Oh yeah. I forgot about that. Old Noir. Now we fall into the sky. I think this might be, like, the only Superman game to get Superman right. Um, now, I I didn't much care for it back in the day, but flying around the city the way I could was super interesting, because, like, you have a meter on flying. That's one of the things that's usually, um, like, that's one of the things that's usually, like, not uh, super balanced is the flying. What? I didn't want to do that. So, like, flying being really balanced here is cool. And you can make flying more OP, and then the game got boring, and I just flew around the entire city. God. I, I forgot how like many cool acrobatics you can do by like changing gravity. Oh, I forgot this game was fun. Hang on. Laws of gravity. Like, this was a huge fucking open world Vita game. 
Like, before Zelda came along and was like, hey, here's portable open world. The Vita was like, hey, we have portable uh, Gravity Rush, and we have portable Borderlands, and we have portable, like, this and everything. And I'm like, oh. That's... It's fucking Pog, dude. Oh, right, Pog. <laughs> I say it, like, instinctually now. But it's super cool that the dude's a fucking Nazi. Fantastic. And, like, nobody can say Pog anymore. No, I appreciate that Twitch was like, hey, yeah, the, the culture of Pog, of Poggers, is, like, important, and we still want that around. Like, we still want people to be saying Poggers, but, like, we don't want the face of a literal, like, the literal, like, face of a Nazi to be uh, everywhere on our platform. That wouldn't, that's not, uh, that's not kosher. Okay, I don't care. That's pro oh, I can upgrade. I mean, no, I want, no, I want gauge usage. Nice. And that's all of the gems that I have. Better find a resting place. Oh yeah, I live in the sewers, don't I? Begin the mission. <laughs> I literally just fall down the sewer. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. What do you mean, not bad? <laughs> not bad at all. Hang on. Maybe I really am gonna be okay. This place looks built to last. Yeah. What do you know? It leads right outside. Splitter. Looks like I just found my new home. Episode 3? What do you mean I'm on episode 3? Okay. Auto-saving. That is what I wanted. I just did- I didn't want to play the entirety of Gravity Rush, but... You know. It's fine. Now, I see something, it's staring you in the face, and we'll get to that, but for now, we're doing my bread and butter. God, I fucking remember this game. So good. Sonic Rival. Is Sonic doing the okay sign? He is. He's- wait, wait, what? No! I, we didn't just see that. He's fucking doing the okay sign. Are you kidding me? That's an emote. That's a new emote. I, I, if, I ever, if I ever get emotes, that's going to be the first one. <laughs> Wait, okay. No, you need to see this. Welcome back. I, I'm not getting over this. Look at Sonic when he comes up here. Look at him. Look, look at this. He's fucking doing the okay sign. Like the, the Italiano okay sign. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't notice that. For I played this like before, like to test this out, and I didn't notice that. Okay. Oh my bread and butter. The second one's better, but um I'll go with knuckles. Damn. Wait, did he say damn? Really? Like, like Shadow the Hedgehog style? Oh yeah, Eggman has cards in this game. He turned thing into card. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh style. Is that how Yu-Gi-Oh works? I don't know. He's making- Eggman's making Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And you gotta stop him. Oh, Out of my way! Ooh. So this game is pretty sweet. This is right in the midst of the Dark Age, but Sonic Rivals and Rivals 2, they're pretty friggin' sweet, dude. They're solid 2D games. 2D racers.
51% downloaded. Not bad. Are you from the uh, the server where I apparently can just kind of advertise if I play Little King Story? Is that how you found me? Fuck. 20 minutes to 4 hours, and yes. Wow. That's good download. Did find me in the server. Nice. Well, welcome to the stream. I will beat Little King Story one day. And then I will get a million subscribers. You say the name of the server? I'm not active there. So, sorry about that. I was there mostly because I got invited. Because you guys are super chill and you guys found me on YouTube somehow. I don't know how. But you did. Um, and then I was mostly there to ask if, you know, new little King story, like, is, like, workable. Uh, only for me to find out it wasn't. You found negative Sanchez and got into the server? Hmm. Herploids. Yeah, no, I appreciate the hospitality. It is super cool of all you guys. And I will be playing no Noodle King Story here. Noodle King Story. Uh, for a little bit. It is the Japanese version, and uh, I played a, like a little bit more than I had tried, just to test it out, see if see how well it works, see if it works at the frame rate. But thousand megabit download at one point. Oh, that's not. It's almost there. Almost there. Another seven hundred megabytes. <laughs> Oops. You're getting there. It'll happen. Oh shit. Just went to one gigabyte. Yeah. I think 1080 megabytes is a gigabyte. I think. 20 minutes remain. Calculating. <laughs> Got, gotta, gotta love that good old Alaskan internet speed. This was snappy with the super juice that they use out there in Alaska to make the internet work at all. Don't you know, that's how they do it. They use the snow to conduct uh, electricity waves. To get you your internet. I mean, personally, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be more impressed. Oh shit! Now, it may currently look like I'm crushing Sonic, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I haven't played this in forever. Oh, never mind, I am crushing Sonic. Uh, but I know that this game gets harder in, like, two levels. And I know that this boss is, is terrible. So, I'm gonna... We can't talk about Sonic Rivals without bringing up this song. We can't do it. It's impossible. Whenever you bring up Sonic Rivals, you, you have to talk about this theme song. <laughs>
Don't worry, I didn't skip it. We'll hear it. Let's do story. And let's do... This time you get two playable characters per person. Per, per story. Uh, I think I'm going with... Uh, let's go Silver. Silver and Espio. Oh. Oh yeah, you have to play this game eight times. Leave it to me. That's quality. I'll go undercover. Hey, chameleon! Have you seen any chow around here? Yikes! Ch chow Well, uh... You know where they are, don't you? I love well, that. <laughs> I mean, I guess I know something, but... Well, no, I don't know. Hmm, you sure are a strange one. Hmm, you sure are suspicious. What's that hide- What are you hiding there behind your back? Is that a knife? Hmm. You are seriously mistaken. Be gone. Hey, Chameleon! Wait up! Metal Sonic, go after Espio. I'll find Silver. How do you know who Shadow. Silver is? What do you want with me? How I do you know who Shadow questions. is? <laughs> they were, they retconned Sonic 06 out of existence. Ha! Don't you guys worry. have never met. It has nothing to do with you. How do Just you know about each other? Way. Isn't Shadow literally a secret agent? As, isn't Silver from the future and Shadow's literally a secret agent? What? How do you what well, how do you know about each other? Hmm. I don't think so. Good story. There's no way I'll lose. You ready for this fucking theme song? I'm better. Right. I'm better. No problem. <laughs> Please. I don't care what anybody has to say. This was one of those bops from my childhood. This is 2008, the song. I'm gonna wait for him to get past that, because I remember what Silvers does. Oh, I played this so much as a kid. Oh my god. And Silver's thing screws up their controls. No escape. Psychic control. This game had so much more production value than the first one. Like Sonic Rivals Mon one, Sonic Rivals. Monday. <laughs> Must have done well, right? Like, to get a sequel? Sonic Team was... Sonic Team and Dimps and Sonic... Uh, Sega in general. They were on some good crack back in, like, 2008 and stuff. But, like, surely this must have sold well for it to get a sequel. Even, like, on the PSP. Also, you have no idea how much I appreciate Silver actually being fast. Ring. Oh my god, these cards. Oh, I love that. I forgot about the cards. You have coffee. Ring tea. Coffee. I can't do that. Unless you tell me what I want to know. If that's the way it has to be, so be. Oh yeah, knockout. I love the cards, because it's just all Sonic paraphernalia from history. From like the games. I'll take you on. And it's so cool. Oh yeah, this. Had a chance. <sighs> oh, my way. Okay. Yep. Oh, these get hard. Oh, these get really hard. <laughs> Witness my power. This is one of the hardest Sonic games. It is really something else. I love that, like, I was going to do the Vita thing. So I was like, oh, yeah, that's, like, not Sonic related. I can do that, and then I can do, uh, like, Sonic 3. Witness my power. 
but no. I decided to do Sonic as well. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Shadow, you're fucking crazy. Unbelievable. You know what else I hate? On those quick time events that show up, which, by the way, quick time event shows up for, like, a split second. Final round. Not a chance. There we go. Who's the best? The quick time events kind of have input lag. That's fun. That's definitely that's like yeah, that works. That's supposed to be the way it is. Phew. That was a close call. Target acquired. Metal Sonic. So, does that mean Eggman is involved with this too? I don't have time to waste dealing with you. I was gonna talk, but then we got jam alert. You're going to lose. I've had enough. This is the most love Espio's gotten in so many games. Stand down, apprentice. Now you see me. Stand down, apprentice. Yeah, and half of these superpowers are just kind of useless. Like, Espio's is completely useless. Unless you're playing multiplayer, but... Li literally zero people play this multiplayer. Like, none. You you won't find anybody. You would need two PSPs and two copies of this game. Literally impossible. Now you see me. I regret not picking Sonic, uh, because Sonic has the boost, and that's by far the most useful uh, move in this game. I mean, Silver's is pretty good if you're playing human opponents, but the AI can just, like, figure out the dastardly trick. With no problem. Because it's, it's a computer. Now you see me. Okay, I could do this literally all day. It's a problem. <laughs> while the while the um the Vita emulator isn't great, I do appreciate that the PSP emulator is like fully functional basically. Almost fully functional. Not quite, almost, but... Okay, it saved, alright. Because it means you don't have to go and hunt down a Vita just to play PSP games. But this PSP game, oh boy. This one's a little bit controversial. Not because it's a bad game, but because people uh, don't like change. Memory Stick Duo. That does not exist on my Vita. That's loud! Capcom! Based on Mega Man X. Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. <laughs> oh. Look at that anime cutscene. They just basically show you all of Day of Sigma in this intro. Oh, right. This is the only game I have uh, from the PSP that runs at 60 FPS. Uh, and that's gonna cause tearing on the recording. 
So it's going to look a little crusty, but when doesn't this look crusty? Don't hesitate to pull the trigger, X. <laughs> oh yeah, something else that's interesting here. You guys can't see it at all, but... So the PS Vita... Um, it was a... They said it was about on par with like a PS3. Like somewhere between like the Xbox 360 or like the PS3 and the PS2, right? Um, and so because it does use like uh, basically just more powerful PSP hardware. Day of Sigma. Day of E. My name is Thomas Light. I am the researcher who designed and built Mega Man X. That's fucking cool, dude. Mega Man, um, the Vita, though. All right, this. Oh, wait, what? All right. The in-game actions have you use X to select, and then I set it to circle. So I'm a dumbass. So I like my Nintendo. Um, so this is just Mega Man X, the remake. And I haven't quite beaten it for, on my last save. But I've beaten this a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, I have Storm Tornado. I've won. I have won. Officially. If you ever wanted to win Mega Man X... That's how. Holy shit. And people say these games are hard. So, I think I mentioned it. I grew up with this version of Mega Man X. I do love it, but I never ended up growing up with the, uh, the Super Nintendo version. I could have played it basically whenever, but... No, this was the version that I ended up getting. Uh, I ended up getting this just as a, I think a, uh... Like a disc? Like a PSP disc? Or did I download it? I think I downloaded it, actually. I was like, ooh, there's Mega Man on the PSP! And I had never played a Mega Man before. All right, no boss. Eh. Uh, I guess let's just do Rangda Bangda. I guess we'll beat the game on stream. <laughs> Welcome to the finale of Mega Man Maverick Hunter X. Um, but a lot of people don't like this version because it uh, it changes like some of the power up locations. The big one is the the dash. Uh, the dash is now optional. You never have to get the dash. It, that, which is, like, weird, but at the same time, like, sure. Whatever. You know, you can find the dash easily. It's not like it's hard. But, you know, there's no, like, um... There's no issues with, uh... Like, the frame rate. There's no issues with the, uh... Like, changing the game design drastically. It really is just Mega Man X, but on the go. Like, this is the first way you could have played Mega Man X on the go, and it's pretty... It's sweet. It's pretty dang sweet. Except for that. I don't know, how, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. <laughs> the fuck? Getting mission. Jesus. Jesus. Haha. <laughs> Can't get me. Tornado. Tornado. 
Why are you backwards, X? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, so I have the Hadouken. So you saw me do it earlier. Here, let me use the stick for it. There we go. I'm trying. It's a very, very specific rhythm to it. Punch out. Got him. But I mean, like, if, you know, it's Mega Man. If you've seen one Mega Man, you, you kind of seen them all. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. Who am I gonna fight? Who who I got? I think I still remember the weaknesses here. Let's see if I got this. Oh, armored armadillo. Who is it again? Oh yeah, it was you. It was electric spark. Ah. There we go. Now you can just attack him. Uh, I should probably keep using his weakness, though. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, I'm so used to playing, like, uh... Oh, fuck. oh god, I'm gonna die. I am so used to playing, uh, fucking, what do you call it? Mega Man Zero. And, uh, with Zero, Dash would be on the shoulder button. Hang on, I can change that, can't I? Yeah. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can change the uh, the analog stick to uh, weapon change. Oh shit. Okay. It was a good fight. Yes, it was. Now die. Oh, would you look at that? They had figured out this Mega Man thing way back in the day. Oh god. Now the game gets hard. Oh, that's not how you do that. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? I can jump on guys now? Whoop. Whoop. Okay, that's Mega Man for you. <laughs> okay, um... This game. This is turning into PSP showcase, but... Uh, Ratchet & Clank, Size Matters. This was an interesting game. High Impact Games. Oh, this was not made by, uh, Insomniac. <laughs> Let's just try a new game.
I still have a save file. Oh god, look at that crusty frame rate. Pokitaru. Look at that. Isn't that something special? <laughs> ah, much better. The sun is murder today. I swear, Clank, I'm done with all that hero stuff. Now let somebody else save the universe. <sighs> I need a little me time. Oh, this is his new voice actor. Oh, yeah. Duty to ensure Would you look at that? What'd you do that for? Whoa, whoa, uh, what are you doing? I'm taking pictures for my school project. I'm doing a report on heroes. Little King Story is running, maybe? Oh, boy. You're ratchet, right? Well, I see you have a knack for recognizing greatness. I would it is? Oh. Possible to get some pictures now does it play well? Well, I would, but there's really not much heroic work to do around here. Oh, boy. Oh, I can lift Clank over my head, though. How about that? I was thinking maybe you could fight some robots or something. I know where you could find them. I do have a massage scheduled in 15 minutes, but... To... Oh, you know how little King Story controls? KBM? Come on, KBM. Buddy. Let's put on a good show for our little reporter here. I am going to... Oh, keyboard and mouse. Yeah, I've never played Little King Story with keyboard controls. Oh, right. Oh, this is not a dual analog game. Oh, Jesus. So I move the camera with left and right. Oh, Jesus. And you wonder why this didn't sell well? Okay, the controls are super scuffed, and you'll see in a bit. But... Oh, there is strafing. So I'm not the biggest ratchet guy in the world. Um, I played uh, the, the future ones. I never beat the first future one. I beat the second future one, and then that was it. And I've, I have touched... I own... The Ratchet Collection on PS3, and then I bought it on here just to try it out. Um, I mean, you know, Ratchet is Ratchet. Why do I sound like I have shoes on? Ooh. Oh, look at that. I can't tell if that's an issue with the PSP emulator in here, or, or the, the... everything. Oh, Jesus. Press the L button and R button at the same yeah. time to crouch. Press the X button while crouching to do a height- Trying to figure out keyboard and mouse controls when not doing well. I thought the game explained the, the controls at some point. Uh, I think in Little King's Story, there's a help menu where it just explains the controls. I know I had to find that for myself. If you can find the ring menu, there'll be a help section. Do I have that turned on? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. For some reason, A is enter. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I hate that. Yeah, it used to be a Wii game. And then... They decided to transfer it to PC. How do I control? Oh. 
Nah, don't worry. You still got it better than I do. I have to play New Little King Story in Japanese. Now, I know how to play the game, but God forbid the controls uh, translating to the, to the Vita. I'm pretty sure there's touchscreen controls, and I'm never going to find out what they are. Okay, you know, this Ratchet game controls pretty okay, actually. Is that a cave, or is it... Oh, it's just a rock. Oh, look at that swimming. Look at that swimming animation. That is crude. Can you believe this was my first Ratchet game and I didn't put the series down after that? I never- I've never gotten past this area, by the way. I played this area in this game and that was it. That was the, my entire exposure. If it doesn't work, you can just get Dolphin. There should be keyboard remapping in Little King Story. Oh, hello, Acid Bomb Glove. Have strafe. What camera? I'm begging you. I don't know many key. I don't know many uh, PC games that don't let you rebind the keyboard controls at all. So if it doesn't work, I mean. Oh wait, I'm s some of this is coming back to me. Oh yeah, she's evil. Like, she's like actually like evil. I don't know what's so evil about her yet, but there's something. Damn. Look at that carnage. Isn't it wonderful? I keep instinctually trying to use the right analog stick. And it's not gonna do anything for me, but right stick. Oh fuck. Right stick. Uh I'm gonna put that on L and R. There we go. Like, cause this is just a PSP with an extra stick, but being able to use the uh the end of the thing better. Oh, right, I remember why I was talking about the screen earlier. So the screen on the Vita, I think I was talking about this earlier, um, is double the resolution of a PSP, right? So that means there's this option. Let me... No, there's no option for this on a PC, but there's an option for bilinear filtering, and you can turn that off. And the game looks nice and crispy. So, it, you can't see it on the screen, but every single pixel um, that was rendered on the PSP now makes up a 4x4 four four square of pixels on the Vita. So, you get perfect pixel scaling, and uh, you can even change the, uh, the color space back to what it was in the PSP. So, things can look nice and washed out. So it can be perfectly pixel accurate and perfectly color accurate. Or you can try and smooth over the pixels if you want, but I hate that w the way that always looks. Clark? Uh, Clank! What a coincidence! What are you doing here? I am trailing Ratchet and Clank to see what they are doing, so I can join in on their next adventure. Hey, that's what I'm doing! D uh, no, wait, I, I mean, I, 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 uh... Do you not have somewhere else to go? <laughs> Home to your family, Clank's perhaps? fucking mad dog and Cork. <laughs> hey, Cork. Nice hat. <laughs> Sorry, Cork. What? Was that your mother's hat? That stupid fucking kid. 
<laughs> Seriously, dude, it's just a hat. It's not that. It's my mother and father. Is this I canon? Knew my family. I was given up for adoption as a baby and was raised by monkeys. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing. Perhaps you should attempt to find your real parents. There she is. Get her. Apparently this game was actually pretty good. Wait, PS2. Uh, Wait, looks what? Like I'm gonna be Wait, late what? Massage. Let's go. There was a PS2 version? Hang on. Ratchet Clank Size Matters PS2? There's a dual analog version of this game. You're a little mad? Why? Is there no is there no keyboard uh controls? There is a fucking PS2 version of this game. Watch and Clank Rift Apart. Stardew Valley is only a 380 megabit download. Yeah. 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 I love that I can't go on YouTube right now without without people bringing up the, you know, cool insurrection. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about that. Whoa! Now we got video games to play. I have things to say about that, but we don't need to talk about that here. Now I have Stardew Valley and Little King stories. So you can just go. Were, were you not home? Were you like in the? Oh, were you, like, in the office waiting for their internet to, like, to download game? Alright, no problem. See you around. Oh, yeah, yeah. magnetic surfaces using your gravity boots try walking up that wall oh i remember this oh wait no i got to here ish be in discord that's all you get can't even see the memes oh i died okay so because i died i guess that's all we got time for. oh i'm running out of battery okay so little king story just in time for you to leave But finally, we're here for Little King's story. <laughs> this is why I, I'm doing this in the first place. Oof. That is a big mood. If it makes you feel any better, I'm re-uploading this to YouTube. You can see it later. And you can actually download the YouTube video without having to be live. <laughs> and you can actually watch it in HD, but that's fine. There won't be chat, but you can see it. Uh, yes, yes, sure. Japanese. Now, I had an English version of this up and running, but I pirated it. It is technically Abandonware. They're not selling this game anywhere anymore, but I don't think it really matters. Oh, I forgot. You can't skip this cutscene. There it is. Little King's Story. Oh, 
I'm going to continue messing with my EQ settings until I get this right. For my microphone. Do I crush the mids? Maybe? I could. Hey, it's worth it because I don't understand what's happening. Oh, I'm... Oh, oh I'm in-game. Oh, okay. I'm in-game. Oh, okay. So this is a completely new intro. So, if you're wondering why I'm messing with my EQ settings, uh, that's because, hey, I, like a dumbass, I, I have Twitch open, that's why I keep stopping. <laughs> that's why I keep stop talking. Um... Shut up. I said, shut up and let me play. Um, if you're wondering why I'm messing with my EQ settings, it's because I accidentally deleted them. Uh, it's because I disabled the microphone in, o in uh, OBS, so the whole of the, uh, all the settings and everything that I used in it is gone. Would you please? That's super cool. Oh wow. Nice. Good one soldier. Whatever Japanese studio made this clearly seemed to care. <laughs> Because now everybody has voice acting. Like, really good voice acting. Is this music? Oh, I have a combo! I am, in fact, a king. Who needs my army? Are they, like, actually, like... I'm actually, like, really strong. Jesus, I'm actually like super strong. And then they die. Oh God, it's Hauser. Oh, it's the, it's the trio, but now we have an extra guy. Oh, he went to save them, but then they died. Good. Good. Oh my god. It's so different! I played some of the English version. Um, it's not about Hauser basically using me to take over the world anymore. I'm now actually like a king of a pre-existing kingdom that was destroyed by these pillars of light, I guess. And now I've got to go kill them to, to do the thing. And now I have to make dialogue choices as well. So it's very much just like a JRPG in Little King Story. Also, this game fucking chugs. And I hate it. They're all just anime people now. I, I don't I don't know how to feel about that. They're no longer like funny cartoon people. They're just like anime people.
Wait, they all have music? Hang on. Shut up. Stop. Oh, you don't get music. But they reuse the old animations with these new anime models. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So we need to make money. Nandayo. All I hear is Jojo. That's all I hear. Oh, yeah. Now, I don't know how much worse this is going to chug. I, I, okay, I do. I know more or less how much worse this is going to chug than the Wii version. Holy shit. Where did you go? Is that a hole I can dig up? Oh, it is! Oh, you just sort of fell in there. Yes. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yes, sir. I, I do indeed. Let this go find money. Let this go find Little King Story funny money. Wow. Remember how I said I didn't like the PC versions loaded? That, that's not. Oh, hey, it's the, the dude. No, 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 stop talking to him. They're, like, all just kind of here by default. Like, I don't like it. Alright. I mean, it's Little King Story, you know? Like, uh, you know, it, it exists as it do. Oh, there's touchscreen controls. I get the feeling that says language. And there is no option to change it. Oh, oh. Oh, there's a zoom function. Yeah. Oh, finally, the frame rate's consistent again. I would be fine with, like, a chuggy frame rate. Oh, yeah, that's me touching the back panel, by the way. That's just gonna happen by, like, me holding the Vita. Doesn't seem to do anything. And that's me touching the the, the touch screen. Yeah. Almost. Oh right, and you can save anywhere. I forgot about that. Huh? Game freeze? Oh, no. Okay. Okay. So that's New Little King Story. It is... Oh. Oof. That chug is unbearable. <laughs> yeah. 
And everybody just speaks like regular ass Japanese now. I think that's all I need. So I'm going to go back. I... It, it, it is entirely possible that um, this screen recorder that I've got going is chugging the game out. Because I did some quote-unquote extensive testing. But Gravity Rush played about as well as I remember. Um, like, this would cause massive frame drops. Yes, I, I fully understand. I've played the game before. So it is just Little King's story. Poverty Elimination King. I don't know if this, the screen caught that. It didn't. So this effectively functions like a game capture of some kind, but... I don't know. Which makes me wonder. Stop talking to me. Leave me alone. I know how to play. Okay, I'm going to save. Stop it. I No, no more anime, please. Um, now, I'm going to take a hot minute. Uh, no, I shouldn't. Honestly, I shouldn't because I'd have to restart my Vita and do all the fucking homebrewing again because I don't have a permanent homebrew solution here. Um, but we're going to do this last game. And it's, it's a big one. It's the one I've been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, I present with you. I present to you. Niflis Games is... Niflis's games. Huh. In collaboration with Ripstone and Greenhill. You could load. Did it break? Did the game break? Is it loading? It's worked before. There it is. Knit underground. This series is my channel's namesake. Pretty obviously. Um, one of the first games I've ever played on the channel has been Knit Stories. And I liked it so much because it was a... Well, a, um... A sort of Metroidvania-style uh, ex exploration game. This isn't like that. This is very different, but Knit Stories has a lot of vet Metroidvania elements, and... Uh... It was entirely... Uh, like a custom game. It was like Mario Maker, but with Metroid elements. It was super enjoyable. And honestly, so is this. God, the shit that I played on my uh, Vita as a kid. So interesting. Okay. Uh, do I still have the candelabra? I do. What do you call that? Candlestick. Now, I own this on PC as well. I own this on the PC and the PS3, and the Vita. I think this version um, just like came with two different versions. You could just download the Vita version as well, but. Um, what am I, I don't remember my goal here. Uh, let's explore that way. Thank you. 
it has been so long since I touched this game. Oh my god. Oh shit. So I've tried doing uh, DSing in my thing. Also, I think that might be part of the problem. Do I sound any better? I'm waiting for it. No, I don't. No, so my EQ is the problem here. Remove band. Remove band. For the most part, I think I want to raise that up a little bit. Raise that up. Yes? I, I think this, will pro this, this is going to sound like shit, but let's try it. I'm going to... I think I need water soon. I think I forgot to hydrate. That's okay. Let's get that base nice and high. I get the feeling I should be good. Oh, right. Take a look at this. Oh, you got all these orbs. That's loud. Um, oh yeah, there's a time limit on all of these. Ah, oh, right. You get an explodey jump. I wonder. Oops. I can totally make that. <coughs> I think, I've, I think I've found everything. Okay. Oh man, it even uses the PS3 UI. <laughs> it doesn't even use the uh, the uh, the Vita UI. It straight up uses the PS, like the the red circle from the PS3 version. This is a straight port in the most literal of senses. Now you can't go back there. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm remembering so much, and I'm trying to get up there. Oh, man. Um, hey, Johan's the name. Johan's the name. You can talk to me. You know, there's this thing called speaking. Oh, yeah, my character's mute. Like, that's a plot point. I actually can't speak. Hi, me. I see you've met Johan. So the first builds a so first he builds a stupid door, and he offers to open it for people for a fee, of course. You believe the moron asked me to fetch him candlesticks? Most people with respect don't even touch the older ones. I hold Johan, an ancient Tangaroa curse on him. I gave him the glare. Works in everybody. How'd you sneak through, though? I got him his candlesticks. Okay. What is up here? Oh, the way. There's a certain, like, pure joy of exploration that, uh, Knit brings to the table. Like, the music's great, the, um, the atmosphere is, like, th this atmosphere is perfect. The art might be uh, just a slight bit, uh... Maybe a little bit like very early, two thousand, mid like mid two thousands indie, but that's got its own charm to it too, you know. Like very, very much like my first, 
first few days in Photoshop, but... Listen. This looks good. It's a good game. It's my, my, my channel's namesake. You should play it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, oh God. So. I think I might just be about ready to uh, take a break. Because these are all the games that I really wanted to play on my Vita. That, like, you could see. Like, old PSP games, Gravity Rush, uh, Little King Story, Underground. Yeah, that's, like... Everything else here is like, you got fucking Mega Man Legends on here. The original Mega Man trilogy. Uh, in Japanese. <laughs> no, these are Meg- th This is, uh, Rockman... Hang on. Fuck, what is it? Rockman Works? Rockman Complete Works? Yeah. Notable differences. A Navi mode and a difficulty select for all the games. In the Navi mode, the player can receive hints when pressing the select button. <laughs> In Rockman 1 to 3, remix music from Mega Man The Power Battle and Mega Man 2 Power Fighters plays through the game if Navi mode is chosen while holding the select button. Um, unlockable artworks. When a game is cleared in Navi Mode, an extra credit scene shows gameplay scenes of Mega Man fighting in the stages while an extra music plays. Like Duel Ending 2, Rockman Ending 2, Blues Ending, Forte Ending. Jesus Christ. Compatible with Pocket Station, allowing the download of the game. Poke Roku and improving health. Okay. Rockman 4 to 6 only. Eight new unlockable power ups. Only available in Navi Mode. The ability to play as Mega Man without his helmet at will, simply hold R2 when selecting original or navi mode. <laughs> wow. Yeah. This is, this is solid. This is very, this is like, if you want to play Mega Man, the PlayStation versions are pretty damn decent. Okay. So. That's all I wanted to do with my Vita. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to chill the hell out. And I will be back with some Sonic 3. Alright, I will see you around. 